Hey guys, today's video is a massive Dollar Tree haul because not only do I have today's haul, but I also have stuff from two other separate days and this is two trips. So it's basically four trips to Dollar Tree. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I got. All right, you guys, I wanna share a few things that I got from Dollar Tree yesterday that I'm pretty excited about actually. I found these vacuum storage bags and if you guys saw one of the videos that I had posted previously, I had found some bags but they weren't vacuum storage and I wanted to use them for my girls coats but I was kind of disappointed they weren't vacuum storage so when I saw these that they were vacuum storage I was super excited I'm not sure about the quality so I did only get two of the large but I'm excited to try these out and see um, how they work for me I also have this with my kitchen remodel. I want to reline all of my cabinets. I'm not sure how much I need. I know I'm going to need more than this, but all the Dollar Trees I went to currently have a ton of this print right now. So once I try this out and see that I like it, I'm going to go back and get a bunch more. But this is what I got for now was four of them. And they're a yard and a half long. And that's how much it is. It's like 18 inches, I guess it's 18 inches uh, wide by a yard and a half long. So it seems like a pretty good deal to me. I don't, I've never priced this stuff before, but that seems like a pretty good size roll for a dollar. I also got this, I have a glass one that I recently got and I love having this handle when I'm stirring and mixing. This one isn't super, super sturdy, but it's about as sturdy as you'd be used to for anything plastic like this. So I'm excited to see how I like that. I might end up getting more. I also wanted some more spatulas. I love having these to scrape anytime I'm baking or cooking and there's stuff stuck on the side. I love using these. So I did grab that from uh, the Better Betty Car. Betty Crocker brand um, for these. So I'm really excited about those. If you guys saw my laundry um, re, uh, organizational video, I have one of these in my laundry. I had gotten two and I put one of my daughter's something for my daughter. My Dollar Tree only had like one, like two when I went. So I ended up getting a second one to go in the laundry and then I got a couple more because I can use this for my rags. And so basically this is all for my laundry. I'm still putting my laundry back from our kitchen remodel that we're in the middle of doing. So I figured I could replace some of the other baskets I had that didn't match and have my laundry, all the baskets matching in my laundry. Another thing super excited about is that I saw my friend Brittany Rose on her channel. She had gotten these 18 inch metal form wreaths. I've only saw the smaller ones. I don't know if they're 13 inches or what they are, but they're much smaller than this. This is the first time I've ever seen. I went to a Dollar Tree I don't normally go to and they had the 18 inch one. So I grabbed two of those. Real excited for those for um, fall and Christmas time. I also wanted to get one of these laundry mesh bags. I actually had mentioned this in a previous video as well that I was looking for these at my Dollar Tree and they didn't have any. And this Dollar Tree, look, I still have paint on my arm. I've been trying to scrub that paint off, but I'm still painting almost every day in the afternoon. But anyway, I've been looking for this because my bras always get caught in my towels and stuff like that. And I wanna start trying to use this for my bras. So my girl, I had picked up a couple of these for my girls in the past and they worked awesome. We've been using them for the last year, but Kenzie broke hers. So I got actually two more pairs for each of them. Lexa has a, a green pair just like this and Kenzie had a pair like this that she broke. So I got another pair for each of them to have one pair that we keep in the house and one pair that we keep in the car. But then we saw the baby shark and they wanted, well, sharks, shell the shark, and because of baby shark, they're obsessed with sharks. These are such a great deal, in my opinion. I love them. I could have them all over the place, and that way we can leave a pair in the car, leave a pair in the bag, and leave a pair in the house for when they go outside and stuff. And so that's my goal that they each have like two, three pairs, so we don't have to bring them back and forth in the car to the house. And then we get down the road and they forgot their sunglasses and they're panicking when we're on the way to park. So I love just to have a pair to keep in the car, a pair for my bag, and then a pair for the house. So. What's your mine? At $1 a piece, you can't go wrong with that. So I'm really excited about that as well. And this is another item I've never seen at my Dollar Tree. Again, I was at a different Dollar Tree. And this is the toilet bowl spray. It's kind of like the poopery stuff where you spray first and it's supposed to make a barrier to keep it from stinking. So I'm really excited to see um, how that works for us. So that's everything that we got at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so we got this um, pole noodle. And then these are actually wall decal stickers. My girls were so excited to find those. And then we are making crazy hats for church. So this is for Lexa's crazy hat. This is for Kenzie's crazy hat. What else we got in there? This is some uh, fall decor. My Dollar Tree's just finally started putting it out. This is for the crazy hats. This is for the crazy hats. 
think everything else is for the crazy hats. We are making an ice cream cone one for Alexa. And then, I mean, Kenzie and Lexa doing a spider. These are for the crazy hats. For toys. Toy puppy. Um, they wanted these toys. This for the crazy hat. Some adhesive glue for the crazy hat. This for the crazy hat. I'm not sure which uh, size of these foam balls I need. Um, and then these are for the crazy hat. Now, one other thing I got was that for decor. Um, these are some legs, um, those little witch legs or whatever. I'm going to cut these and put this foam in them and then have them coming out of a vase for decoration. So hopefully that turns out cute. I just had that idea when I was sitting there and I've never seen this Dollar Tree before. So, um, I may show you guys that once I make it. So I wanted to get some snacks for, for Lexa. She has started pre-K four and I already ripped one off and gave it to Kenzie, but she has to bring a snack every day. So I'm trying to do like something fun like this and then stick a little bit of like lunch meat or something else in there. Today I sent her with cheese crackers and some ham, shredded up ham lunch meat. So I'm gonna get this to throw in there and it came in a pack of five. I also got a pack of these wafers because um, I wanted to put like one of these in each one of her lunches. So I'll have something healthy and then a little treat sometimes cause she loves sweet things. So figured it would be a fun treat for her just to put one of these. So this will last for 20 days worth of lunches. Also along those same lines, I got these yogurt and berry biscuits. I've never seen those before, but I figured that's something that she might enjoy. So I wanted to try those for her. You really do look good. Also, she is obsessed with olives. So I'm thinking along with like some meats and uh, crackers and cheeses, this would be a fun thing to include a couple of olives some days for like for a little bit of veggies in her snack. I also got these because we had these once before and she loved them. So I'm just gonna give her like four, you know, maybe portion them out like four at a time in her little lunches as a sweet treat. Obviously I wouldn't do that on the day that I put one of the other wafers in there. This would just be a second option for something sweet. In addition to that, I did get this um, to see if she likes this. It's got mozzarella cheese, pepperoni, and um, cracker so I'm probably gonna throw that one in her lunch tomorrow this was from the refrigerated section at Dollar Tree um, so these are actually travel containers for dressing but a friend of mine I didn't ask her where she got them but this has to be they, they're the exact same thing they look like it when we went on vacation she had these with all their shampoos and conditioners in them and I was like that's so nice because it's a nice like squishy bottle and um, she was using that for her kids, all their, you know, body wash, shampoo, conditioner, all that. And so when I saw these, I walked past them on the aisle. I was like, oh my goodness, that's what she had. So I grabbed a, one of each of the colors that they had. So I was thinking I could do our shampoo, my daughter's shampoo, and then, you know, um, a body wash or something when we travel. So I, I think these are going to really come in handy. Um, I went from, I always have this issue at Dollar Tree. I go from not being able to find any of the fall decor to it all being sold out already. So I did get these three small signs. This one says, hello, October. And they had a bunch of different ones, but these are the ones that I felt looked the most classy and nice, like what you'd find at like a Hobby Lobby or something. Cause you know how it is with Dollar Tree. Sometimes this stuff is super nice and then sometimes it looks cheap and you can tell it's from the Dollar Tree. But all of these I thought were really cute, pumpkin spice and everything nice. I'm probably gonna put these on either my mantle or the, well, the mantle and probably one on the table and then probably one if it fits on my little uh, tray in the, in the living room, which I'm gonna show you guys that in my decorating video, which is coming soon. And then this one says, love fall most of all. And it just has um, kind of a wood grain, but uh, green looking border around it. So I thought all three of those were really cute. I am doing the gray buffalo check again this year. Um, so I thought this matched really well. It says thankful and blessed, has a little truck with the pumpkins on it. And then this one is just a welcome. And I thought the way that the pumpkins are laid out just looks so high end. And I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to put that yet, but I'm excited to see. I love these lighter greens that a lot of the stores, Hobby Lobby and stuff, we went yesterday. They're all having that minty, um, I don't know, that's probably not the right word, but you know those lighter greens. I just feel like those add so much to your space uh, mixed with the more muted oranges. I also got two of these mini straw bay hail, uh, bales, and I'm planning on using these in my tiered tray. Um, in the living room. I started um, college full-time online and I'm doing art classes for a 
graphic design degree. And so my girls have been wanting to draw with me when I do my projects. So I got a new pad for them because they used their other one up so that I can give them this when I go to draw and they're not drawing on my big expensive pads that I had to purchase specific ones for school and so they're a little more pricey. So um, I got this for them to use. Side, we are going away from plastic for anything that has to be microwaved. But as of right now, I am still using plastic to store um, leftovers and just not microwaving in them. So um, I found two of these Betty Crocker containers um, and this was a good, like, a nice large container without being as big as some of the other ones we have. So, we have two long rectangular ones. I like the size of a casserole dish, like a, a 9 by 12 or something casserole dish, and they take up a lot of space. So, I wanted to have these as an alternative between our small lunch size containers and then that big giant square rectangle. And this will still hold. I can tell it'll hold a lot. It is, it says 12 cups. So, and of course, it's the Betty Crocker brand, which is pretty nice. So, I love finding stuff like that for Dollar Tree. I also got these, which I think are, my goodness, this is for my tear tray for sure. I really hope it fits because I love this one. Autumn Leaves and Pumpkin, please. They had a couple other ones that were cute, but to me, this one looked the most high-end. It does have like this, but I probably won't end up using that. We'll see. Um, if I use it on my tear tray, I might just kind of put it behind. I don't think I'm going to take it off because I could see that coming in handy later, but... You can just take it off um, by removing those staples if if it's, you know, um, I might end up doing that. We'll see. So I tried this in <laughs> my other haul. You guys will have seen as part of this one. I got this for the first time. And that was like probably a month or two ago. It was amazing. It works great. So I went back and got two more of each scent they have. They have this lavender scent, which I haven't tried yet. And then they have the lemon scent, which we love. It works really, really well. So I just got two more of each of these so I could go ahead and kind of stock up because I know it works great. And I hope they don't discontinue this. I hope they keep doing it because we, like I said, just found this. I don't know how new it is to, I think it's new to Dollar Tree because I've never seen it there, but it, maybe it's just new to my Dollar Tree, but we love, love, love this stuff. So definitely going to be, um, uh, but continue to buy this for as long as they sell it. Also wanted to get some more lime away for the bathroom, but I decided to try this instead because I do still have some lime away left. And it's supposed to be good for rust, lime, and calcium buildup in your bathroom, showers, toilets, all that stuff. So I have high hopes for this because so far everything else from LA's totally awesome brand has been amazing. But this is my first time using this one. All right. So I am doing a little basement um, office remodel downstairs i'm going to make myself a little office this is like a paper holder tray um, and it's gold wire and then i got the little um what do you call this like basket um as well so that is both for my desk i also got this little white camera i've seen these a lot um, but i thought these would be a really cute um, little addition to my office desk just to add a little bit of decor and the camera stands for like you know the fact that I'm doing YouTube and all of that. So this will be down there and that office space is going to be for my YouTube but also for um, my school so I can leave all of my product projects out without having to like put everything away because I have a lot of art supplies and stuff that I'm having to pack away every single time after I do school. So I'm excited to kind of decorate that space down there. And also along those same lines, what I'm going to do in that space as well that I'm super excited about are these frames. If you guys haven't seen them, I was looking for gold for the longest time and I could never find very many of the gold at my Dollar Tree. But these are just black frames and they are 11 by 14. I think this is recent to Dollar Tree. And these do have just a little pattern along the edge. Um, but my Dollar Tree, I've never seen those at before this year. So I don't know if that's a new item um, for Dollar Tree in general, but 11 by 14, these are so awesome. I'm going to do a photo wall in my office space. And so I got nine of these to do a three by three photo wall. And my plan is to do black and white photos of my girls in there. And I'm super excited to see um, how that comes out. So stay tuned for that. That's definitely going to be a video in and of itself, as well as the um, office in like the whole office setup in general. So that's what's in these bags as well. So this is all um, more frames. Now, something else I was super excited for. This is something I have never seen at Dollar Tree before. They have gnomes, you guys, and these are ornaments. 
I may use them. I don't think I'm going to use them for ornaments. I think I'm going to use them like um, on my tear tray. Um, we'll see when the time comes, but so excited. I got two of the design like this little guy. My Dollar Tree had four different ones. So they had this one. That's another, another one of that same oh. one. And then they had two skiing gnomes that are just in different colors. So this is one. And then this is, I got two of these. This is another, just a smaller version with different colors and ones with legs. So that's a different one of that. And then I got two of those with the legs. And so this one is one with a different color and different hat pattern. So these are the two skiing ones that I got. Uh, my toddler's trying to run off with it because she thinks that they're for playing. Don't, don't pull that off. Um, so these are the two skiing ones I have. So I got two of those, well, one of each of these, and then two of the bigger gnomes without legs, just arms, and then two of the smaller ones with legs. So, so excited about these. And then I needed a glue stick for, for school, so I got a big giant glue stick. I don't know. Um, it was Avery brand, so I'm guessing that should be pretty good, but I've never really seen one that giant, so... I was excited about that. But that is everything that I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're not already for more homemaking videos, Dollar Tree videos, DIY, home decor, all everything homemaking, food, recipes, anything you can think of. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.